Check out this Stylus new arrival section which showcases a large model image with a scrollable side featuring all the products you want to showcase. This is one piece of the beautiful new Lux Palo Alto theme that is stocked full of beautiful UI like this. Today I'm giving you the code to add this section to your store absolutely free. I've been doing Shopify development for over 5 years now and love giving away free sections just like this. To add this, simply copy and paste the code from the link in my descriptions into a new section file and you're all set. If you want to follow along, then stay tuned. The code consists of HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and Liquid Schema. This means it's stocked full of customizable settings that you can tweak in the theme editor. If you see a cool e-commerce feature that you'd like to see on your store, then make sure to subscribe, like this video, and drop a comment pointing me to that design. I appreciate all the support from you guys, which helps me bring you more free customizable sections just like this. Without further ado, let's dive in. Now, as always, we want to make sure that we have a duplicate theme so that we don't mess anything up in production. So make sure that you come to your production theme and then click duplicate. And then what we're going to do is come in here to edit code. Sometimes I work from a local environment, but I'm just going to work right here within the web uh, the browser today. So what I'll do is I'll come to this sections directory. I'll click right here and I'm going to give this a name. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to call it new arrivals. Dot liquid, <clears throat> and then you'll see that it gives us this starter schema, but we're going to go ahead and remove that, and then what we can do is copy and paste the entire file in, and that's literally all you have to do to make this work. If you want to go piece by piece a little bit slower with me, then stay tuned so you know what this code's doing. But So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to first add the CSS. This is going to be all the styles at the top. So I'll paste that in, and then you can see we have a bunch of stuff going on here. So I won't take too much time going through this. The main things I want to point out, I guess, would be uh, some media queries, just so that when it goes down to mobile or a bigger screen, we make sure that it still looks good. We are referencing a few different uh, settings here. So this is a text color that's used in a few different places and uh, that's going to be a customizable setting. There's also um, another media query here. This is what something I added to just make sure that the images on mobile still look at the right aspect ratio. So now that our styles are in place, I'm going to come right below that and paste our HTML. Excellent. So now we can look at this new arrival section. So um, I'll walk through it just a little bit here so we know what's going on. Basically, we make sure that we have a few conditionals making sure that these settings are actually displayed, right? We don't want to ever display something that's broken. So what we have is our image. This is going to be like the hero image, the large one on the left side. Um, so we're just loading that in, which is going to be, of course, picked in the theme editor. And then we have the heading, subheading, button link, and button text. So remember all of these section settings, these are all reference, references to the schema that we're gonna add here at the end so that we can change these things and update them easily in the theme editor. Then you see we have this for loop where we go through these section blocks. So that's one thing I like about this section is that I'm utilizing blocks, which means we can add and remove, and you'll see this when I demo it, you, you can add and remove as many of the products on the right-hand side as you want. I, first, I limited it to like six or eight, and then I thought I'll just leave it unlimited, right? You can put as many as you want because it's a scrollable container. So that's kind of cool. And then so what we do is we go through each block, and then we're getting, um, there's a badge that we can display on the image. There's, and then, of course, like the URL so that we can link to that product. And then, of course, the image itself. Um, and then we have down here, this is the product variant information right here. So it's looping through the product variants and displaying like a little tiny swatch underneath. I did a little work here to add this data variant image, um, which is basically going to let us actually update the image too. So when you click on the little badges, it will show the correct, uh, it'll show the image for the selected variant, which is kind of nice. So now what we can do is add our JavaScript. There's actually not that much in this code. So I will paste that right below and talk about it just ever so slightly. Cool, so you can see we're right here, right here in our JavaScript. We are going to wait for the DOM to load, which just means like everything on the page is loaded. And then what we do is we add event listener on all the color swatches so that when the color swatch is clicked, we run this code right here, which is basically grabbing the new image that we want to show and just replacing the image with this new one. So um, not too much to talk about there. And then lastly, right below this script, we're gonna add our schema. All right, so now that I've pasted in the schema, you'll see that we have a few settings and things in place. Um, so the name, new arrivals, then we have some settings here. So this is for text color. This is an image picker for the hero image on the left side. Then we have the text for the heading, the subheading, and then the button text. Then of course the URL, so like with the CDA, the call to action button where it actually navigates to. 
Then we have our blocks here that I mentioned earlier, right? We can add and remove as many of these as we want. Um, these are just gonna be called product because that's what they are there on the right side. So it shows the, uh, the product information and then also a text field that we can enter in a little badge like new arrival or limited in inventory or something like that. And then we have our presets here, which gives us um, our name of new arrival. So this is what it's gonna look like in the theme editor, uh, the name of it anyways. And then we have it um, by default showing these four blocks here. So everything looks good in the code. So we can come save here and then we just have to open up our customizer and then we just have to add section. And then if I search for new, new arrivals. And then um, what I'm gonna do is move it, I'm gonna move it right yeah, right below the banner there. So you'll see if I click into the section itself, there's a few settings here. And then, um, so I will start first and I'll add one of these images here. And then I'm fine with the text the way it is. Um, just make sure that it works. I can see that it does if I add a character there. Cool. Um, and then I wanna make sure that I add a link. So I'm gonna link to the uh, hydrogen collection. I'm gonna come back and then I'm gonna start editing these products. So the first product I'll show, I'll probably just display these snowboards. Um, and then this is kind of cool, this badge text. You can see nothing appears if it's empty, but maybe I want to add um, like new or something like that. And then what it does is just add this in the corner, which I think is like a nice little touch. So I'm going to go through and add a few of these. All right, so I've gone through and added a few of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've added six. I think that's probably a good start. Um, I think if I look real quick, I think my font here is fine, or my uh, color rather is fine, but if you wanna change that, obviously you can change that. So I'm gonna leave this saved and I'm gonna preview this theme now. Okay, cool. So I can see right now that it looks really good off the start. Uh, I like the hero um, banner. And if I scroll, it does in fact work. And then lastly, uh, I just want to make sure, oh, you know what, I'm going to add, this has a variant, but it doesn't have a different um, variant image. So let me add one more block so I can test that the actual variant um, toggle is working. So I'll come here, add this. All right, and now, okay, cool. So I can see it here, and if I click, you'll see that the uh, image is actually updated to show that variant image, which is what we want. So everything looks pretty good. Now let's just test on mobile really quick. All right, cool. So it looks really good. The image still holds up, and then I still have the ability to scroll right here. So this is exactly what I wanted. Um, I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions or concerns, let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.